Hello and welcome to another video with me, Andrea. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to show you guys what goes into one of my pre-workout smoothies and then I might do a short little workout. And so today's fit tip is fuel your body right. And I've already got some uh, baby kale in here. Kale is great. Uh, now the thing that a lot of people don't know about it is it's actually one of the few vegetables that's better for you when it's lightly cooked. A lot of things are better raw, but um, with kale, you, too much raw kale is bad for your thyroid. So you want to uh, counteract it with iodine rich foods like uh, seaweed and uh, otherwise your thyroid might have some issues. But I, you know, I still eat raw kale, but I wouldn't eat as much as, you know, you think you'd need. Mostly I lightly steam it. So there is some baby kale. Here is some organic pear that I washed very well. You have to remember to wash very well because even when it's organic, that it's not, doesn't mean it's not yucky stuff. I'm gonna add a banana or two. Now, look at all these bananas. I got these all for 50 cents because the grocery store takes them out of the shelves when they're not pretty anymore, ridiculous, and usually throws them out. And I always ask, oh, if there's any bananas out back that are riper than what you keep on the floor, can I please have them? And they always do have them and give me a discount price. I'm gonna add some hemp seeds. Hemp seeds are great for plant-based protein. There's fatty acids in there, omegas. And my smoothies are always different. Like I never have the same smoothie twice, like ever, because I never really keep track of exactly what I'm putting in there. Here are some chia seeds, you know, a nice little sprinkle of chia. Chia has everything good. Like, oh, it's so great. It has iron and calcium and protein and fatty acids. And um, they, when they're, wet when they're mixed with liquid they become like a gelatin and they uh, scrape out all the gunk on the inside of your body they kind of cling to the walls and get rid of that so this is a powder and it's made from spirulina and chlorella and they're basically like algaes and they're great for iron, they have protein too. Um, they're, you know, a little bit different. I don't think a lot of people keep spirulina and chlorella around, but I think if you're trying to be a healthy vegan, it is something that I would recommend. So then I'm gonna add this little um, organic soy probiotic shot. And I usually get my probiotics from fermented things like kombucha and kimchi and miso. Um, but occasionally, um, I, it, there's hard to find those things sometimes at your regular supermarket. So I'll go for a fermented soy uh, probiotic shot. Just add that in there. It looks pretty gross, but it tastes not bad. It tastes like yogurt. And then I'm going to add this mango, also organic. I try to buy all organic when I can, you know, and I try to get deals like this. Like it's the same thing. They take mangoes off the shelves when they start looking a little worse for wear, but they're still good mangoes. Like you can still eat them. So don't, don't think I'm eating like rotten food. That's not what's happening. I'm eating food that is totally good for you and has no bad spots, but it just doesn't look like perfection. And you'd be surprised how much food is wasted just because 
uh, supermarkets have really strict rules about what they'll put out on the floor. Oh, and this mango is so perfectly ripe. Can you believe that this was going to be thrown out? Thrown out. What is up with the world, people, right? Okay, so mangoes are a little weird because you never really know where in there the pit is at, but I just kind of chop along the sides. It doesn't need to be pretty. It's all going to be blended. Mangoes are hydrating. They're great for your skin. They're great for your immune system and vitamin D absorption. And like, I didn't learn anything I know about these foods from school or, or I mean, I have no, I'm not a nutritionist, so I'm not, you know, but when I went vegan, it was really important to me that when people came to me with questions, I knew what I was talking about and I, and I was the typical meat eater. I thought, oh, you know, it's going to be so much harder to get my nutrients on this diet. I better you know, really research and, you know, it's, it's crazy easy to get nutrients. And then I'll add my water and you can add homemade almond milk or coconut water, super hydrating. Never forget the cat. because um, it crazy blends it and I like to have you know just a little bit more of a thickness mmm that is so good it tastes like something you get served on a beach with alcohol <laughs> and you can't imagine how good these smoothie contents are for you so I'm going to do a little bit of a workout, fueled by my smoothie, and put the cap back on while I'm not drinking it, but I'm going to drink it right from that. Oh. Now that would be a great breakfast. You could even share it as along with some fruit, whole fruit, and it's going to be perfect before a workout. Now, I wouldn't usually eat it and then work out right away because, you know, you're moving around, you're getting down, you're going up, you're doing this and that, and um, it's going to kind of make you feel ill, sloshing around in your belly. So I recommend you try and eat like at least 30 minutes to an hour, but... You know, you need to be able to have digested all of that. And I drink it throughout the workout. Nothing wrong with that. And see, you know, I'm just kind of randomly going around, but everything counts. You don't have to do crazy exercises all the time. Sometimes you can just be random. I'm going to do some squats. You know, a lot of people, before they work out or after they work out, they consume things that have unfortunately been advocated by, by celebrities. So, and, and athletes in particular. So a lot of people after they train will have a, a Powerade or a Gatorade or whatever. Um, and before they work out, they have some like chocolate bar looking thing or some weird squishy gel that's 
filled with chemicals and sugars and artificial flavorings and colors. Like, it seems like common sense, but a lot of smart people are doing it. You know, they put things in their body that you couldn't find that ingredient at a grocery store. So just think about it, you know? An Activia yogurt has the same amount of sugar as a Snickers chocolate bar, you know? And this has sugars, don't get me wrong, it has natural sugars, natural fructose, which your body just like eats up, you know? It's a common misconception that fruit is too high in calories and la la la. Oh no. You need those calories to get your metabolism up, to get your energy. Do not limit calories. Keep going until you feel it in your glutes. Good. Get some more smoothie. Mm. That's good. Okay. I'm going to do some plank stuff. Upper high plank. Bring your legs in. Switch onto your back side and do dips. Okay. Switch over again. Oh, great. So there's a short little workout. Everything counts, right? And an example of what I would eat before a workout to fuel. And if you like the video, please like below and subscribe to my channel. Hope you have a great day.